three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 30 Hello everyone, I'm Andrew the Astronaut, and today we're going to be recreating the Sputnik satellite launched on October 4th of 1957. Now, Sputnik was the uh, first Earth artificial satellite, and it was part of the Soviet space program, obviously. Uh, it was basically the starter gun for the space race. Now, the Sputnik from recreating in KSP is very simple because it, the Sputnik core provided by the Making History DLC helps a lot in recreating accurate replicas. So enough about the Sputnik satellite itself as it was very simple to create. The R7 Semyorka, I'm probably butchering that name, sorry native Russians. The R7 was officially the Grau Index of 8K71. If you want to know a little bit more, my buddy Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut, did a good video on that, which will be linked in the description. And it was a Soviet missile developed during the Cold War, and the world's first intercontinental ballistic missile. It made 28 launches between 1957 and 1961, but was never deployed for its uh, true purpose, uh, because according to the Russians, was delivering nuclear warheads, which in my opinion is a little bit too, uh, I don't know, bad. Anyway, we have moved on to the launch. Now this is the third attempt of launching this rocket. I don't know why three keeps popping up. I mean, it was the third attempt of launching my Hubble Space Telescope and my Skylab, but I guess three third times the charm? Well, anyway, I had lowered the thrust of those outer cores because the R7 was incredibly overbuilt. In fact, it was so overbuilt that it could lift this Sputnik satellite into an elliptical orbit that was highly inefficient and still have mountains of Delta V left. So yeah, the also the Kodiak engines, which are the equivalent to the any four engine belled R7 style rocket engines provided by the Making History DLC, uh, cannot gimbal. So I had to add some extra Cub slash Vernier engines so that I could gimbal this thing so that I could point in the right direction. And we had a core left cross right there, which was a separation event of the side boosters and you saw that we launched from the desert launch site instead of the usual uh, Kerbal Space Center and that's because it most likely matched the Gagarian strike or the start also known as Baikonur site 1 or site 1 slash 5 is a launch site in the Baikonur Cosmodrome now this wasn't a b actual Baikonur Cosmodrome it was used as a code name to make sure that the West didn't figure it out. Now we have deployed the Sputnik satellite, and because the Sputnik was in an elliptical orbit, technically I am correct with the orbit here, so I am satisfied with this. Anyway, this is the end of the mission. I've been Andrew the Astronaut, and signing off. I'll see you everyone next time, and remember to like and subscribe.